morning friends and welcome back to another Florence vlog. Today we are going to Piatti Palace and also the Boboli Gardens which are right next to one another and close to where I'm staying because later today I will be heading towards the Duomo so we didn't want to go out too long and it's also freaking hot out still. It's about 25 degrees right now so this feels cool in comparison but I know that later it'll be stinking hot. We have already explored a lot of Florence and if you haven't watched those vlogs, you can watch them right here. And before we get started and head to the palace, I need you to subscribe to this channel because, you know, your girl's gotta make some money to make this travel happen. And by subscribing, it's free to you. Give this video a like, it's also free to you and you really help make this channel grow so I can keep exploring towns like Firenze. on the website last night how much the Boba League at Gardens and Piazza Palace would cost me and apparently I never saw that it's closed the first Monday of the month and it's currently June 6th which is the first Monday of June. So those are the Boba League Gardens that I will not be going into today but a quick fun fact is the first Sunday of every month museums are free but uh, yeah I guess we're gonna have to come back to Carton de Boba League. Before you watch the rest of this vlog, I want you to comment below if you also think the palace will be closed on the first Monday of every month because they're kind of like a combo deal. You can buy a ticket for the garden and the palace for 22 euros during this higher tourist time. You just commented below you think it's closed. You win. High five! A high five virtually because those doors are definitely closed and there's definitely nobody here. And now I just feel like a big I thought about cutting this whole piece out about me making a big error on the two things I was gonna do this morning. But I think it's important to share that like mistakes happen. I'm gonna intro that. Wasn't pressing record, so let's try this again. So we are headed back into the city center. It's just after 4 p.m. We are visiting the Duomo this afternoon and the reason why I'm doing it in the afternoon versus the morning is the ticket that I bought. There's variations of the ticket. I'm gonna write down here the kind that I had. It was the most expensive one because you're supposed to be able to do all five towers or statues and buildings associated with the Duomo. But in order to go up the actual dome of the Duomo, you need to go at a specific time because I think there's only so much space available. It says it feels like 31 degrees and the humidity is at around 60%. You can see, I've been walking for like 10 minutes and I'm sweating already. I also got new sneakers here from, the brand is called Camper and I've had sandals from them before that lasted over five years. So we're hoping these last over five years. I will link them in the description below. to the Duomo exhibit A but me being me I would like to use the washroom before I go up the dome it's just nervous pee it's anxiety pee I've talked already about my anxiety on previous vlogs and sometimes it comes up especially when I know I'm like going to the top of a thing in a more congested area so finally found the washroom it's across from the like more independent small building with the ticket office these are the ones I went to yesterday and I'm pretty sure it costs one euro This is where you enter if you're going like, up to the cupola, to the dome. 473 steps to go to get up to the top the Duomo Dome. Oh. It's 180. Oh, I thought it was 473. I'm not counting. Alright, I'm using to help me ignore my anxiety I'm going up these hills are these stairs. We're almost there and the faster I go, the faster I will be there.
After walking up some 400 flights of stairs, we're at the top of Fiorenze. Act about me, I don't like heights. But we made it to the top and we're standing close to the edge. <laughs> from the top. If you're also claustrophobic, like seriously claustrophobic, I, uh, I don't know if I would suggest it. We're looking pretty skinny stairways. I'm about 5'5", five five, and a lot of the doorways were just above my head. So if you're any taller than that, also be mindful of your head. But the view from the top is quite amazing to kind of see it all come together, especially because I've been traveling the hillsides to kind of put some pieces together visually. It was really awesome. these dividers here I think just so you don't throw anything down and tell them to preserve it so it's kind of hard to capture everything but <laughs> pretty spectacular we made it outside of the Duomo Ooh. That was a stinky, warm, sweaty experience. And as I already said in the tower, if you are someone who's claustrophobic, really be prepared because those are some tight hallways and even my anxiety was going. But I think it's worth it. I don't know if the ticket I bought is worth it, which is 30 euros in total. But right now I'm gonna go inside the cathedral, which you do enter to go up, like just on the side, and you exit a different way. So you do get to see a different stairway as you go down, which is actually quite dizzying because it literally just spirals all the way down and then go to a cafe that was recommended to me and hopefully get another cafe shikatora which i got in my last video basically an iced coffee so it's like ice and espresso and they shake it and if it's shaking really well it should have a lot of foam so otherwise we'll get an espresso Okay, just kidding, we're not gonna enter the cathedral because it closed last chance at 4.45 and it is currently 5.30. Apparently today's not my day. This seems to always happen to me in Italy that I try and go places and things are closed because I just don't plan well enough in advance, but it's okay because the ticket I bought apparently is valid for three days, so I think tomorrow afternoon I'll try and come, but we're still gonna try and find that coffee shop. Here's the coffee shop that was recommended to, recommended to me, Schiuderi. Perhaps. Doesn't have a good rating on Google, but I'll take the local over Google.
costing me three euros and 40 cents. And considering that I'm right outside the Duomo in one of the busiest areas, I think that's quite reasonable. That one was really good and had delicious, and it's just basically a espresso shaken with ice, but no alcohol or anything, so it's really refreshing. One moment, please. And I think now we're just gonna head home shower. Tonight we're gonna see a family friend of a friend and a puppy dog. That's basically why I'm joining while also picking up gelato. So I'm just there for the gelato and the dog. We're gonna end our Florence vlog for day three or four. I can't remember. And if you haven't subscribed already to my channel, please do. And we will see you for another day in Florence. Ciao for now. It is the next day, friends, although it may not look like it because I'm wearing very similar clothes. We were back at the Duomo. I started to walk towards the city center around 3.45. And of course, I got lost because I told myself to walk over the same bridge as yesterday, even though I know I should have done the one closer. Eventually, we found it. We've just entered the cathedral. di San Giovanni and it is currently under partial restoration so you can't really walk around the whole place. The detail work on this wall is impeccable and I'm so glad they are restoring it because the vibrancy of the colors is surprising for the year it was which I don't have for you right now but we all know it's like a bazillion years old and the gold texture really stands out and just the like storytelling of humans and people Combining together is quite magical. And we're back outside and we're gonna go see if we can get into the Santa Rapapara. I need to look up the name before everything shuts down. But I just don't know where the entrance is, but the thing is, I'm just gonna walk all the way around again to figure out where the entrance is and then we might have time to do the towers. This has been my favorite hangout spot probably four or five times by the bathroom because yeah, some people come and walk through but it's like just slightly shaded and there's a nice bench. It's right by the Duomo. It is so warm that like my mascara is literally melting off. Another day, another 400 steps. This time we're going up the bell tower and I was nervous to do so just because my anxiety is high again. But then I thought I paid 30 euros for this ticket. We're gonna get our money's worth and it is already way less busy in the Cupola Dome. So let's do it. People of Florence also love this word, allora, which I asked my host what it meant, and it kind of means like then, next, okay, let's go. So, allora, let's go. Wish that I could stay. Another difference of this tower compared to the cupola is you go up and down the same way, so people are passing on the way down. Wish that I could stay. the 
about how we're doing 414 steps with a cupola is 463. Let me just put my new sunglasses on. All right, friends, that took me 10 minutes to climb up the bell tower and it has so much more room and it smells better than yesterday's cupola so i highly suggest if you had to choose between the two i would choose the bell tower because you have almost exactly the same view and although you can see the inside of the the Womo a little closer up you can see it from the ground too This lady says, I don't want it. No, por favor, eh, you know? So noisy, that's all for now.